kitchen or whenever you're watching it um, I'll be making you the special um, fresh lumpia it's, it's lumpia for egg rolls so but we make our own crepe for that and that would be in the next video so I'll start with um, sauteing my onions okay so cook your onions till they're soft then I'll add my garlic but three cloves of garlic chopped So we'll just keep going until this is soft enough. There we go. Looking good. This is a delicious um, recipe other than fried egg rolls, you're going to make fresh uh, wrapper with this, with all the veggies. Okay, so this is looking good. I'm going to add now my, first of all, you would want to cook your um, sweet potatoes, okay, because this is uh, the longest vegetable that would cook. So I'll cook this. Uh, almost cooked, but um, on my sweet potatoes, I'm going to add about a pound of French cut green beans. Okay. Alright. Mix this. This just takes a while to cook too. So. The rest of the veggies will be uh, strips of uh, Julian cut celery and Julian cut uh, carrots, my um, bean sprouts, and I mean, we fried some tofu for you. And this is a good vegetarian dish that everybody will love, guaranteed. Okay, so while I'm cooking this, I'll show you the rest of the veggies that I'm going to add. Okay, now that I've added my sweet potato, my green beans, my carrots, I'm going to add um, the celery, okay? And so it's also doing. Let me get a tong for our little mix. Okay, so I'm mixing this celery in. So your veggies doesn't have to be like super cooked, you know, because you want it to have a little bit crunch and when you bite on it. Otherwise, it gets so soggy. It's not as good. Hopefully this will all fit in my pot because I still have to add my bean sprouts. I guess we'll steam it and get better. Okay. Oops. So you can make this recipe is like for a big potluck and I'll show you how to wrap this tomorrow in the next video and how to make the brown sauce that you put on top of your lumpia or egg rolls. Okay, so I'm gonna add my See, this is my tofu, fried tofu. Just add it on there. Mix it. And then, um, and I'm gonna 
show you hold on to add um, my seasoning okay so with the seasoning you add like two tablespoons of thin soy sauce if you can find it uh, or just your chikaman soy sauce, the light. So I just pour it on top. Two tablespoons is enough. Now this recipe calls for um, free sauce. Now for vegetarians, it's a no-no. So I'm gonna add it, but you don't have to. And you could just use more soy sauce instead okay so but this recipe calls for it's called patisse or fish sauce so about two tablespoons a little bit okay and I have my George Washington brought the golden I just took it out from my packet about four of them for this whole recipe. Okay. And like I said, this is also optional. You don't want to use this, it's fine. You could use your own uh, broth. Okay. Good. And I'm going to add like a teaspoon of the chicken bouillon and like I said for vegetarian you don't have to okay so I'm just gonna come on we <laughs> go just a little bit just for taste I think I'm gonna I might have to put this in a different because I don't know how my what you call this bean sprout would hold we'll see okay I guess it would once it's steam up then it should fit in this I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper to taste okay and so I'm gonna let this cook I'm going to add now my bean sprout slowly. Okay. I'm going to let this cook, cover it, and let this cook. I use one bag of bean sprouts that you get from the grocery, and uh, so I'm going to let this cook in here, and I'll come back and show you once this is all done. Uh, so like I, you can see that I have this uh, lettuce. This is what we're going to put on top of our crepe. And you put the filling in it and wrap it and the finished product you'll see how it looks. Okay, we'll be back. Hello everybody. I am back to make my fresh lumpia. Um, my crepe wrapper. Um, today I don't have my uh, videographer, so I'm doing it by myself. Um, so I'm gonna start with my mixture and I'm gonna add uh, one cup flour to my bowl. Okay, and uh, I will add one cup of cornstarch. So this is one cup. together and in the meantime you uh, 
Pick your eggs, three eggs. cups of water to it okay With that I'm gonna add my three tablespoon oil which I measured this will keep your um, crepe not sticking to your pan now I'm using this 10 inch pan make sure when you uh, this is my first time making this. Make sure when you cook your uh, crepe, use the 10 inch uh, nonstick and um, you don't have to put oil. You can spray a little bit on nonstick spray as this should uh, stick well because it has oil in your batter, which I added. Okay, so now. I'm going to add my one cup flour, one cup cornstarch mixed together with my three eggs and oil and water, which is three cups of water. So I'm going to add my oil into this one, mix it all together. I'll be back. I'm uh, back. I'm gonna add this mixture into my flour, okay, and cornstarch. So, slowly mix it. and smooth and you don't want it to be thick batter like pancake because it will be too thick be cooking this in my pan and I will show you when you cook it you just put like about uh, one fourth cup of this mixture and put a little bit of spray and see and while it's your pan is hot then you pour it you will pour the one fourth cup into this and on a low medium heat you don't want it to be too hot because it's gonna burn it and so and once it's moving in a pan that means you could it's almost done and you could just slide it out on a plate and get your batter and your crepe done. So I'll be back to show you the finished product. All right, um, I'm going to show you how to make the crepe for my fresh lumpia uh, and my spring roll. So spray your fan, 10 inch fan, to medium, low medium heat and get a one third cup measuring cup
All right, I'm back and I'm showing you how to make my um, brown sauce that you're going to need for your fresh egg, uh, fresh lumpia. So here we go. With water. The measurements will be in the video after this. So make sure you boil your water. Once it's boiling, we're going to add a brown sugar to melt it. And there we go. It's coming up. All right. All right. So now my water's boiling. I'm going to put my brown sugar and melt this so I'll get this to melt and once that's all okay you're gonna add your like usually a tablespoon of um, crushed garlic Okay. You don't want to put the garlic so it won't be bitter when you bite it with your egg rolls. Okay, I'm going to add my soy sauce. Then I'm going to lower my fire and then add my... Um, Corn starts with water. Okay. And if your corn starch mixture is not enough, you'll have to make another one. Just put more until you could see the consistency of your sauce is thick enough. So you just keep adding slowly, but not too thick. So less water and more corn starch. can smell the garlic see it's still not thick enough so I'm gonna add until it looks the right consistency but add it slowly Okay. okay, I'm going to add a little bit, just a little bit, as you can see it's already trying to thicken. Changing the consistency. When this cools down, gets thicker. Just a tiny bit more. So it's just a little bit at a time. Okay. It's just like a Okay, a little bit. It looks like I'm going to use it all. Okay, I think I got the right consistency. So, yeah, this is it. All right, so let it cool, and you will put it on top of your crepe with a little spoon, uh, about a tablespoon, of, and then 
put the lettuce leaf on top and your filling and wrap it like an egg roll. You'll see the finished product. All right. So we'll see you in a bit. Mm -hmm.